Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Annie. Today, as suggested by some of you, we're going to work on biscuits, which is another recipe that doesn't require eggs and can take a whole lot of variation. So in the Red Book at Home at Sea, it's on page 152, and there are all kinds of variations that are in the book, lemon, um, and herb and Parmesan and black pepper and with Roquefort cheese and that sort of thing. Today we're just going to work on a basic recipe, just straight up. Now the thing I find about biscuits is that most people have a hard time with the mixing of them, not so much of the measuring of the ingredients. So I've got all the dry ingredients in the sifter, so which is just flour, baking powder, and salt. So then the next thing that happens is the butter goes in. Now my recipe in honor of my grandma has um, shortening instead of butter, but I don't use shortening very much any longer because it's not, we don't find that it's good for us anymore. Well, it wasn't good for us before, but now we know a little bit more about it. So now one way to work this in is with your hands like this, and I'm just kind of pressing it. Another way to work this in is with what's called a pastry knife. But I find it's a little hard with cold butter to work the butter in. Shortening is easy with the pastry knife, but butter not so much. And then the last method, which I prefer, is where I just um, kind of press it with the heel of my hand and I work it in. In the end, you want this to be the consistency of cornmeal. Kind of just crumbly, but not as fine as the flour. And then once I'm done with this, we're gonna add the milk. Okay, so that feels pretty good now. So, I'm gonna use my bench scraper to get it back in here so I can add the milk. I'm not brave enough to try to add the milk. It's a little too much to add the milk while it's still on the board. So, okay, and then the next thing is, come on over here, honey, and, and to show. Now, the next thing when you're putting the milk in is to kind of go slow, and I mix it up with my hands because you need to feel it. And I end up adding milk to the parts that are not already incorporated. So while the recipe is a guide, how dry your house is, where you're living in the country, how humid it is outside, whether you have the air conditioning on or not, all of that stuff matters. Okay, now it wants to come together in a ball. So we're going to let it. And this is the point at which we're going to put it onto the board again and with a little bit of flour. Okay, now you can roll this out, but you can also just press it out and that's it. No more touching, right? Because the more you touch it, the, the stiffer the dough gets and the more gluten you're developing. So this is like the opposite. You don't want to develop gluten in biscuits. You want the opposite of that, which is tender, flaky, fluffy, right? Now, the other thing my grandma taught me is that once you get to this part, then you kind of press it together again and have another go. And these aren't going to rise quite as much as the first batch that didn't have that second little pressing, but it's okay. It's going to be okay. They'll still be flaky and delicious. Okay. Then we'll bake them and I'll show you what the final product looks like. I'll be right back. Alrighty, those biscuits are done. So out they come. And you can see how high some of them got. 
and then how those ones at the end started to kind of, you know, they're, they're kind of craggy and pulling apart a little bit. But um, this is perfect, what you're seeing here and here where they just poofed right up. And then who does not want that with some fresh butter or some delicious strawberry jam? Chloe and I are going to have a snack now. We'll see you guys later. Um, and until next time, uh, click like and subscribe and all those things that you're supposed to do. And, and truly, it's wonderful to connect with you. Keep the suggestions coming. This biscuit recipe was a total suggestion from you guys, so that's fun. And um, until I see you next time, stay safe, be calm.